Let's talk about computer programming. What is it to program a computer? A computer is a machine, and it can only do what you tell it to do. The way you tell a computer what to do is by creating programs for it, and that's just a series of instructions in order that the computer executes. At the end of the day, that's a program. Now, they can be very complex, they can be very simple, and everything in between, but that's all it is, a series of instructions created by a human being installed into the computer that when activated, just execute, they just run, they perform, they go from one step to the next, to the next, to the next. Now there's a lot of complexity, as I said, but we're going to break this down into some of the basic components of programming a computer. When programming a computer, really, you're creating something from scratch. It can come from a single idea, and it's up to you as a programmer to create that idea in machine instructions so the computer does what you want it to. That can be rather intimidating because a computer program can be quite complex, but you will learn as you go along the boot camp how to break a computer program down into its individual component parts, how to bite off one little bit at a time and get that working, bite off another little bit and get that working, until eventually you have an entire complex large computer program that can have many, many functions and it works and you created it. And there's a point to be made here. It doesn't take a genius to be a computer programmer. What it actually takes is persistence, tenacity, stick to a reasonable grasp of basic math, and some fundamental ideas about how to think logically, and you can be a computer programmer. Another thing a lot of people don't know right off the bat about computer programming is that it's actually a team activity. A well-constructed computer program is actually the composite result of the effort of a lot of different people. Some of them actual computer programmers, some of them project managers who help coordinate the activity, some of them designers of the actual interface that people will interact with as they use the program, and there are a lot of other roles. You know, learn about all of these as you go through the boot camp. But that central point, that this is a team activity, should not be overlooked. The days of having a computer programmer be some fella or girl that sits off in a corner in a darkened room and has headphones on and ignores the whole world and just types away to a computer and suddenly walks out one day and magically, boom, there's an entire computer program. Those days are over. Those days were over 45 or 50 years ago. Software development, computer programming, is a team activity. It's actually a very social fun activity when you get down to it. It has its highs, its lows, its challenges, its freedoms, but it's a blast and it is something you do with other people. So if you're a social person, you're probably glad to hear that. If you're not so much a social person, well, it's part of the industry. And I've found that as you get more and more comfortable doing your job and being able to interact with people and explain what it is that you do, you end up being a bit more social and able to get along with others. And that leads into another important point. Part of the reason that software development is a team activity and one of the reasons to actually build your social skills is that it is precisely because you have a large team of people with, their e with each of them having their own unique viewpoint about a thing that you can create a much better program. You'll see the solution to a particular challenge a certain way. Another person might approach it and look at it and go from a completely different point of view about how to fix it. And it's that interaction as you work out the different viewpoints and the different possible solutions and eventually settle upon a, a consensus and then move forward in creating the program that allows a computer program to be more resistant to failure, more able to actually meet the needs of the eventual users, in short, to be a better computer program. Another important point about computer programming is that it is not constrained specifically to that part of the industry where one creates computer programs that everyone sees and uses, that they sit on top of their computer desktop, like a word processing program that you're typing documents into, or a spreadsheet program that you're putting data into. A computer program can be something you, ne you never actually see an interface for, never see a graphical part that you interact with. For example, if you have a giant machine at a print shop that prints off documents, there's a computer inside that machine most likely that interacts with the physical parts of the computer of the machine and gives them instructions and reads various sensors to determine how that machine is operating. That computer program was written by a human being and it's for some people an incredibly fascinating awesome place to work in the computer industry. But at the end of the day, it's just a computer program. There just doesn't happen to be a way to interact with it. It just runs a large machine. So computer programming can cover a wide variety of industries 
But again, all it is is creating one instruction after the other that the computer executes and you add them all up and you have a working valuable tool. There's another factor of becoming a computer programmer that I want to point out. To the degree that you actually understand how these machines work, digital computers, and can actually write programs for them, you are to that degree cause over that machine. If you don't understand technology to that degree, can't actually manipulate this machine, this digital computer, to do what you want it to, you are to that degree the effect of it. So you'll find as you become more and more experienced and comfortable as a computer programmer, these machines, these computers of whatever complexity, become something you just use in the normal course of, intera of your day, you are cause over them. They are not something that you will actually be affected by in a bad way. So this brings up a question. If all this is true, why aren't more people computer programmers? Why aren't they involved in this industry in that way? In my experience, there are a couple of different factors here. One of them is that the computer industry has a tremendous number of very specialized words, terms, concepts that are not very often adequately explained. And if you're approaching any subject and trying to form an opinion about it, the degree to which you can pretty quickly understand the basic elements of that area greatly affects your desire to become involved with it. This is not typically an industry where the basic terms and concepts are defined very well. Again, that's part of why we created this course. But it is a factor in why more people don't become interested in it, gravitate towards the industry. Another factor is that they're not even that aware of what the industry is like. What's the day-to-day -day life of a software developer like? What does a computer professional do on a day-to-day -day basis? They don't know some of the benefits of it. Once they find those things out, a lot of people become more interested. But it's not something that the general population knows a lot about. And that's a bit of a shame, because the fact of the matter is, just from a pure employment perspective and a career trajectory perspective, there are a lot of jobs in the technology industry. You probably already know this a bit if you did your homework before you arrived for the boot camp. But the basic problem is that the entire output of all of the available training institutions that can create technology professionals doesn't come close to meeting the needs. And there's various statistics that are thrown around. But big picture, over the next five to 10 years, the projections of number of professionals in the technology industry that are needed doesn't even come close to the available output of what we can make from colleges, universities, boot camps in that same period. So we need a lot more professionals and you're gonna help solve that problem and have a really good career and make a good living in the process.